Hi YouTubers, welcome back to another video here on the Snowy Valley's Division Layout. And today we're doing an unboxing and review on a new model uh, that recently came out. And this is a model by uh, SDS Models, uh, which is located here in Australia. And so this is our first time uh, ever having one of these locomotives and, and we'll be experiencing it with you. Uh, so, moving on to the box, as you can see, it's a nice little cardboard box. And the locomotive that we will be looking at today is the NR Class uh, number 74 for the GAN, uh, which is a locomotive which runs from South Australia in Adelaide up to the Northern Territory in Darwin. And so we have both NR74 and 75, as you can see, and they feature DCC and sound as well as uh, being ESU. So we'll get right into these. Okay, so just before we get into opening up this box, uh, a little bit of uh, information about this these uh, locomotives is that this was the first locomotive along with uh, NR74 that I had ever seen in, in my life and these were a part of the GAN uh, Mark 1 and so these will come along with uh, a train of about I believe 10, 10 11 cars uh, by our Cision models and we'll be doing a review on that in the future uh, but yes this this is a great locomotive I believe the last one we had ever had was about uh, made about 10 years ago and we had to install the decoder back then uh, so this is the first one in a long time and hopefully it turns out pretty well so we'll get right into this box simply slide it off and on the inside here we have our functions as you can see very neatly done stuck right onto the inside of the cover and we have all the way up to F18 and a little picture right there okay so moving on we have this little piece here uh, for your lights and your markers and that's for DC operating as a lot of people here in Australia still use DC and moving on we have a little plastic cover good protection and on the inside we have a hard foam lining uh, one of the accessories we have here in this little plastic bag are two air horns the locomotive uh, but I believe this already comes with factory installed horns uh, moving in simply grab this out if it wants to come there we go and protecting it we have some nylon film which is great for keeping the details in as well as some more foam lining around the hand railings and so we'll get this onto the turntable and go over the details so now we have the locomotive out onto the turntable and we'll show you some of the details in a little spin uh, beginning with the front of the locomotive as you can see this is number 75 and right next to it we have a little inscription I'm not too sure if that's legible or not, but it's a uh, nice detailing nonetheless. Uh, moving up on the front, we have a knucklehead coupler, as well as some brake lines and other detailing as such. Move up. We have marker lights, uh, headlights and number boards, and our factory installed horn right up there as you can see this is a peculiar looking locomotive uh, but very common over here in Australia 
and I believe the this is the most popular diesel uh, locomotive in Australia at the moment. And spinning around along the side, we have plastic hand railings and other details. As you can see onto the fuel tank there, we have some nice detailing. A bit of silver. Uh, moving on to the trucks, some more nice detailing and some steps up along the side. And the, the scheme, I believe, is 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 accurate. Um, the colouring and paint, super super nice and clean. And you can see it says the GAN uh, with the little camel. Rider logo. And moving along to the rear of the locomotive, we have some steps leading up to the walkways, and once again, ooh, some more accurate detailing, and again, a knucklehead coupler with your number boards, marker lights, and headlights. So overall, this is a pretty well detailed locomotive, uh, but now we'll move on to the testing. So now we have the locomotives out here on the track, and we're going to start them up, but before we do, it's a quick note that these locomotives are made by General Electric, uh, so they obviously include a uh, diesel electric uh, engine, and so we'll hear that now through ESU lock sound.
So now we've wrapped up uh, testing on the locomotives. Uh, overall, we're happy with its running capabilities. However, at, at the uh, beginning when you start running, it, the, the bogies are a bit stiff. Uh, but over time, as you keep running it, it'll it'll smooth them, and and you'll have a, a great running locomotive. Uh, another of its cons are uh, if if the camera can pick up on it uh, towards the rear of the locomotive, if you can see that little, if you can see there's a little lighter spot there. Uh, that is uh, caused by the LEDs um, and I believe it, it's a rather easy fix if you just layer some paint on the interior so that's just a little bit of a bother and the other I would say is just where the chassis and the the body connect uh, when you turn on the ditch lights, there's a bit of uh, light coming through. I can't, uh, the camera only picks up on it a little bit. But, especially towards the rear, it, uh, it, certainly, it certainly shows. And I, for my expectations and, and, the, and the pricing of this locomotive, I would say that it should be, shouldn't be there. Uh, a little bit of lining or more paint could uh, take that away but that's that's really the only other problem I found with this locomotive yes but uh, overall it, it was great um, especially for us as there hasn't been many of these locomotives I believe the last one made in, in, a, in HO was about 10 years ago and so it's, it's a massive upgrade from what it used to be uh, but yeah, it's it's great. We recommend it if you're into the locomotives, the the GAN, or just the NR class in general. But if you're not so into it, I wouldn't I wouldn't completely recommend it. So that wraps up our unboxing and review for today. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Uh, put a comment down below on your opinions of this locomotive, and we'll see you in the next one.